Hi, this is George from My Sydney Hypnotherapy, and I'm here today with Kim and Stephen. And Kim and Stephen are interested in one of the most common questions that we get, that I get on uh, My Sydney Hypnotherapy, and that is, can I be hypnotized? So you guys like to know if you can be hypnotized? Yes, George. please. George. Yeah. George. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So um, let's talk about trance, right? Because hypnosis is the induction of trance, right? And trance is just a focused state, focused state of awareness. And there's different levels, right? There's there's uh, light trance and there's deep trance. Okay. Right. So uh, some people say uh, right now this is a trance state where we're fully conscious. Right? Okay. And some people call it a gamma state. So let's talk about the one that's just underneath this full weight awakeness, which we call beta state. Okay, so let's do an exercise now on that. Okay. You can experience beta state. Uh -huh. okay? uh -huh. And this is where most uh, visualization happens, right? Okay. So sometimes I'm working with athletes and they do visualizations in their minds, and essentially what they do is they close their eyes yeah. and they just see themselves how they want to be. Right, in okay. that event or that sport that they play. So uh, actors do this as well. A mm lot -hmm. uh, of meditation happens at this beta state. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's do an exercise on it now, and then we'll talk about your experience afterwards. Okay. okay? So Fantastic. to do this, simply close your eyes. Okay. 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 And if you guys watching at home, if you want to take part in this, if you want to see if you can be hypnotized, you can follow along as well. So if you want to take part in this exercise, close your eyes now. I'd like you to imagine that you're sitting at a table, perhaps your kitchen table at home, or maybe one you just make up your imagination right now, that's okay. And you're looking down through your eyes, and in front of you is a cutting board. On that cutting board is a knife and a bright yellow lemon. Once you grab that knife, cut that lemon in half, grab a piece of that juicy lemon, and now bite into it. Mm. And just suck on that tangy juice. And feel that sour juice flowing over your tongue. And some people get a sensation on the tongue on the back of the mouth. Or they feel some saliva flowing as they mm, buy in that tangy, sour, citrusy, citrusy lemon. And you might actually smell a bit of that lemony, fresh lemony smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And open your eyes. Okay. So, Kim, I'll start with you. Uh, how was your experience? Did you see the, the knife, the lemon? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I felt like I wanted to do it. I wanted to act it out. Some people do, actually. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know, some people actually start with like, their hand and doing it. Yeah, well, I was and, thinking, and, would that be silly if I was trying to no, like... No, it's actually not because um, it's actually your imagination responding to what you're doing in your, in your mind. And I've spoken to a lot of athletes and so forth, and they say to me, like, sometimes when they imagine themselves, like, maybe playing tennis and that, and they imagine, like, doing a backhand, and their hand will just move, right? So yeah. uh, that's actually quite common. Oh, okay. Yeah, common. Okay, not weed. No, no, no. no okay, no, fantastic. That's quite common, yeah. yeah okay. That's quite common. And, and, I, I, and I've also, yeah, did taste the lemony. Yeah, some people okay. actually get a sense. And that's, if you guys didn't get a, a sensation on, on the tongue or the back mouth or whatever, that's okay, because Roughly, it works out to be 50-50. 50% of the people do get it, 50% don't. Uh, it's okay. Uh, if we had uh, probably time to do some more, we could probably try a different fruit or something else that probably you'll get a reaction. But that's okay if you didn't. We're just kind of like, uh, for the purpose of this exercise, we're just demonstrating with lemon. So you got something, yeah? And then, like I said, 50% people do get something. Absolutely, right? yeah. yeah. And how's your statement? How's your experience? I want to just, I don't know, like, the lemon wasn't enough. <laughs> you needed something more. You wanted to eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I want the yeah. fruit bowl. You yeah, had the whole fruit bowl. <laughs> but you were able to visualize yeah. it, yeah? Yeah, you can especially when it, especially your taste buds. So you got the taste buds very well. Yeah. Yeah. And when I close my eyes, I'm kind of very, kind of, you get lost. Yeah, you do. You, image. Yeah, you start to go into a trance state. And that's what mm. we said, like, yeah. Right? Hypnosis really is the induction of trance, and we've all experienced trance. You know, some people say to me, like George, I get into the car and I drive to my destination, and yes. I don't remember how I got there. Mm. Yes. And that's a trance state. You're in, you're in, a, you're in trance, 
other times people would say like you know I'm watching a movie and I forget like I was in the cinema actually watching the movie <laughs> until I had to have a sip for my drink and I'm like oh shit yeah I'm actually in the movie cinema so you become very engrossed in something that's a trance state mm -hmm. or some people mm -hmm. experience that playing sport they call it the zone mm -hmm. uh, or dancing there's no better feeling yeah that's it's right. scoring a goal yeah. running away celebrating exactly and that's, that's <laughs> yeah. the that's, that's, that's like like yeah. yeah. you're in the zone, it's not yeah. Yeah. So, uh, to, on some level, right there, you were hypnotized, right? It's light, light hypnosis, yes. right? nothing too big. Right? Yeah. Okay, so that was what we call like a bitter state. So, let's talk now about the more deeper one, alpha state, right? Mm -hmm. And to get this into this deeper alpha state, uh, which is a more relaxed state where your conscious mind kind of like starts to go on idle and you start to go into a more peaceful uh, mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way we do this one, so you guys can do this at home too if you want to experience this. Now with this one guys, uh, you might feel a little bit lightheaded or you might get a bit of tingling in the fingers. So uh, feel free if you want to kind of like, uh, don't force yourself, um, go easy and uh, you can watch how we do it and then you can always rewind this video and then uh, do it again. All right, so let's do this, uh, this one's called the Tibetan Trance. Okay. And uh, we breathe in for 30 breaths. And then on the last breath, we breathe all the way out. And then we hold it out for as long as we can. And when we hold it out for as long as we can, our uh, body releases a massive load of endorphins, which is relaxation hormone. And you go into that nice, wonderful, peaceful trance. Yeah? So let's demonstrate for the guys at home. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's breathe fully in. And out. And let go. Okay. Pulling in. Pulling in. And out. And out. Four. Two. Pulling in. Pulling in. And out. Three. Pulling in. And out. Four. Pulling in. Out. Five. Pulling in. Let go. Six. Pull it in, out, seven. Pull it in, out, eight. Pull it in, out, nine. Good, keep going. Pull it in, out, ten. Pull it in, let go, eleven. Pull it in, out, 12, you're doing good, keep going, and out, in, out, it's 14, pull it in, let go, 15, in, out, 16, keep going, 17, Keep going. 18. Nice. Keep going. And out. In. And out. 10 more. That's it. And let go. And up. That's 24. 25. Five more. 26. 27. Almost there. 28. Fully in. Let go. 29, last one now, fully in, and then let go, slowly release all the way out, all the way out, and breathe all the way out till there's kind of no air left in your lungs, and just hold it at the bottom. That's it. And most people experience a wonderful release happening from the face, coming down the neck, the shoulders, into the chest, into the stomach.
and it's the body releases wonderful endorphins, relaxation hormone, bringing peace and calm. So just take your time. Enjoy. And you've been holding there for a minute. Taking your time. Actually, get the urge to breathe when you're ready. But for now, keep it going as long as you can. Because the longer you let you keep it out, the deeper you go. It's a minute and a half. And right now, for you guys watching, both Steve and Kim are in the trance. So that pretty much answers the question. Can I be hypnotized? So basically, everyone can be hypnotized. It's just a matter of finding the right technique. And what I found in my clinical practice here is this technique works for everyone. Now when you do practice at home, Make sure you're sitting down or lying down because this is new to you and you might feel a little bit like heaven. Good. <clears throat> Good, you got over two minutes. Your camera's still going. How do you feel, Kim? Mm. Pretty good. I, I, I could have held it a lot longer. Yeah. Wow. I was really surprised with myself after the day. Yeah. Wow. So that's, that's trance. That's hypnosis. But the whole body is really relaxed. It's yes. really, really relaxed and it's, and it's great. Yeah. So yeah. you think if we do this at home, yeah, so we call exactly. that self-hypnosis. When you do it exactly. at home, on your own, that's self-hypnosis. Okay. Yeah. And yes, you and you can listen to the recordings. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. like if you've got some of the hypnotic recordings that, mm -hmm. um, from my academy and that, yeah. what you do is you start off with that breathing, mm -hmm. right? And then you put yourself into the trance, mm -hmm. and then you just start listening to the recordings. Or you can actually put start the recordings, you can start listening and just do the breathing. And then you'll just naturally go into that trance. Now, when you're doing that, your conscious mind kind of goes on idle, so you're not really listening consciously yeah, anymore, yeah. you're listening with the unconscious mind. So it's like your unconscious mind cannot not listen. It's like if I say to yeah. you, don't think of a stop sign, uh -huh. don't think of a red traffic light, uh -huh. don't think of a green traffic light. See how it already comes up there? Yeah. Don't think of a pink yeah. elephant, yeah. don't think of a blue tree. Mm. Because your unconscious mind cannot not listen, mm. it's always listening. So you don't need to listen consciously when you're doing the hypnotic recordings you can just allow yourself to drift, to go to that wonderful peaceful state that you were in. Enjoy the peace, enjoy the relaxation, enjoy the rest. Mm. Give your brain, your brain a, a chance to actually take a break from all the mental chatter, all the, the worries and the anxieties. And so it's almost like you're, you can regenerate. Yes, yes. It's almost like we switch off the conscious mind, which does all that. So what you're doing in a sleeping state, you can also do it in a Yes, state. yeah, because the alpha state is mm. one step before sleep. So underneath alpha, you have theta state, and underneath theta state, you have delta. That's where I am right now, I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, you're heading towards theta. I think I am. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, I hope, that, I hope that answers your question too, guys. Um, so yeah, uh, feel free to uh, send any uh, any comments that you have or any uh, if you have any questions that you want to post uh, please post it underneath this video and i uh, hope you found this useful thanks guys